Hello! In this picture, I've got a problem. I'm trying to, to reach way up to the shelf, way at the top, so I can find the information and, and th that's there and, and learn about God. But I can't. It's beyond my ability to reach. Oh, what am I going to do? Do you see anything in the picture? A way that I, I could learn about God? How could I, I learn about God even if I can't reach way up to the top where I'm, I'm trying to get the information? There are shells that are lower and there's information placed there where I can reach. So in this picture, you see, even if I can't reach to the very top where I was trying to and get the information that's way up high, I have information placed where I can reach. The Lord tells us in the Bible, His understanding no one can fathom. That's another way to say it. There are things that God only knows. There are things about God that are beyond, above our ability to understand. We can't reach them. But that doesn't leave us without information about God. God has reached down and placed information about himself where we can find it. The place where God gives us information about himself to know who he is and what he has done is in his word, the Bible. Listen to this. Psalm 147. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble. The Lord delights in those who trust in him who put their hope in his unfailing love. Yes, there are things that God knows that he only knows and that are above, beyond our ability to reach. But he tells us everything that we need to know. He tells us about Jesus, how Jesus came and lived perfectly in our place how Jesus died, he suffered and died to take all our sin with its punishment away. He brings us the news to trust in Jesus. Don't think that you can get yourself to heaven. You can't and, and I can't either. All it takes is, is one wrong. All it takes is, is one time of disobeying God's commands. All it takes is one time of saying no to your parents when they tell you to do something, being disrespectful or disobeying them. All it takes is one time of doing or saying something to hurt other people, to bring them harm. And we've disobeyed God's commands. We've sinned and we deserve God's punishment. Keep trusting in Jesus who takes away all of your sin and all of its punishment. He already suffered for it. He died and he rose again and he lives and he brings forgiveness to all who trust in him. And keep also reaching here into the Bible to learn more about Jesus, to have your faith in Jesus strengthened. Got one more picture for you. Here's what took place today out here at our site, the new church building that's going up. Do you see it? It's some pretty cool stuff to, to watch out here or to, to see a picture of like this. But I'm also showing it to you to remind you of something, to remind us of our limits. Imagine if you or I tried to do what this crane did here in the picture. Those things being lifted up are called the, the trusses that form the structure underneath the roof. 
We could not reach up there. The crane had to do that for us. It's that way when it comes to us and God also. There is so much that we need God to do for us. So much that we can't reach. So much that we can't do. It's beyond our limit. Those things we leave to God. We trust Him. He saves us. And He brings us everything that we need to know right in His Word, the Bible, that He gives us. Thank you, Lord. Amen.